Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi, everyone. Coming up today, two murder suspects arrested in as many days in Farmington this weekend. Farmington and San Juan County are getting closer to an agreement to reuse the old Halverson House on Crouch Mesa. And the city wants to answer your questions about next year's Farmington budget. I'm Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you on this Monday. TriCityNews.tv is next. Last year, Taco Bell released the Taco Supreme with a shell made of real nacho cheese Doritos in a few cities, none of which were anywhere near the hometown of Nat Christiana. So, Nat drove his friends 965 miles to get it. Well played, Nat. The new Doritos Locos Tacos. Now in Taco Bells everywhere. Sometimes you gotta live mass. The Farmington Police SWAT team located and arrested a Farmington teenager wanted in connection with a La Plata County, Colorado murder. Friday night, 19-year-old Tommy Lee Mitchell was found hiding at the home of Brandon Rascone, who was also arrested for harboring a fugitive. Police were notified by authorities in Colorado that Mitchell was wanted in connection with the shooting death of 39-year-old Joey Benavides of Ignacio. Benavides was shot and killed last Tuesday, April 3rd, at his home in the Cedar Point subdivision. The Farmington Police gang unit began searching for Mitchell when he was located at Rascone's house on North Vine. Police set up surveillance. Mitchell reportedly tried to flee but was caught by authorities. Also arrested in connection with the Benavides homicide was another Farmington teenager, 18-year-old Elijah Timothy Anglin. Also another suspect in custody from the weekend, a 55-year-old Farmington man arrested Saturday night on suspicion that he shot and killed his elderly father. Farmington police arrested Martin Casas Rodriguez and charged him with an open count of murder in connection with the late night shooting. They say his 90-year-old father was shot and killed in his home at 905 South Butler. Casas Rodriguez is being held in the San Juan County Detention Center while the investigation continues. His father's body has been sent to Albuquerque for an autopsy. The Farmington City Council is meeting this week. They will meet tomorrow at 7 in the chambers at City Hall for their regular monthly meeting. On the agenda is a presentation by David John on the annual report of the work completed by the Community Relations Commission, as well as the adoption of a resolution providing for the annual determination of public meetings. Farmington City Councilor Dan Darnell says he would like to set up a community center in Crouch Mesa. And he met with the San Juan County Commission recently to request the possible use of the old Halverson House to do that. Darnell was approached by both Healthy Students and Enlace as being entities looking to set up shop on Crouch Mesa. The county would retain ownership of the property at 4500 Wildflower Drive, while a memorandum of understanding could be started to allow a partnership with the city for use of the building. Halverson House is a defunct drug and alcohol treatment center for youth that closed down in March 2010. County CEO Kim Carpenter says he believes it's a valid idea for kids, so the commission has agreed to forward, move forward on developing the concept. City of Farmington hosting a forum on its budget for the next fiscal year. The public is invited to attend the forum at 7 this Thursday evening at the Farmington Public Library. The meeting begins with an orientation followed by some public comment. We had a pretty nice partly sunny day today throughout the Tri-Cities. That should be continuing for the next several days. Let's take a look at the weather forecast. We are expecting mostly clear skies overnight tonight with a low of 42. Partly sunny skies on Tuesday. We'll see a high tomorrow of 82. And Tuesday night's low will be 44. We expect the winds to pick up on Wednesday, but we'll still have plenty of sunshine. The high Wednesday near 79 with a low of 39. Temps, however, look to be about 10 to 15 degrees cooler Thursday and Friday. Now, here's Devin Neely with a look at sports. Thank you, Scott, and hello, sports fans. Let's start off with some baseball from Saturday. Kirtland and Farmington meeting on the diamond, and Farmington asserting their dominance once again, blanking Kirtland 10 to nil, and both teams back in action on Tuesday. Farmington taking Bloomfield, and Kirtland playing Piedra Vista. Speaking of Piedra Vista, they had some visitors in town. Maya Mura from Gallup making the drive over, and Shane Woodson coupled with some hot bats made for a tough go of it. Piedra Vista winning 17-3, and Piedra Vista still leading the district with a 3-0 record. 
And speaking of the Panthers, ladies ball this time. Piedra Vista swept up against Aztec in a doubleheader out at the complex. 4-2 to two in the early, and then Aztec's bats shut down completely along with the defense, it seems. 10-0 to in the late game. Courtney Naki putting up two homers, and Susie Chandler, not to be outdone, had one of her own. Piedra Vista softball now 4-0 in district play. And next we'll see Bloomfield on Friday. Finally tonight, tennis from Friday and Saturday is Farmington Boys Tennis on the road. Farmington Friday knocked off by the Bosque team that went on to win second in the tournament and beating Goddard by nine matches. Saturday, Farmington beat Santa Fe eight matches to one and then beat Piedra Vista by the same margin, third overall in the match. Farmington Boys hosting a tournament next week, also deciding the district crown and looking towards state. That's it for me today. I'm Devin Ely. Back to you, Scott. Thank you, Devin. On behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching the new local source for TV news, weather, and sports. And you don't even need a TV. See you back here on Tuesday.